Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Dorada X2 Ketsu, which is on episode 10, or you could call it the third core of Dorada X2 Ketsu, in my per in my um perspective and eyes. Now, this episode right here was pretty nice. I mean, we get to see to it that um that one of our one of my favorite characters of Dorada, which I always enjoy, honestly. <laughs> Um, opens up, and we have to it that, um, she's happy about what just happened right now, apparently, you know? And it seems like our antagonist, the way I looked at it, um, is the one is really causing the trouble, which is already shown, obviously. So, if anything else, let us get started. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that, um, it continues off with a certain, like, um, fight between, like, Isaiah and Shizuo. And, of course, we do come to show that, um, Shizuo, on the other hand, injured Isaiah. Isaiah knows that he's going to die, possibly, and he's on the run right now. He managed to escape, he managed to escape on time and take the elevator, but Shizuo is still chasing after him. As for Shinra's father... They end up, he ends up talking to his chaperone or friend, and it seems like he's controlled by Psycho 2, but not fully. He therefore tells him that, that the people are gathering with their mother or something, you know? And we have to it that Erica blends in in the crowd, but before I get into detail what Erica's been doing, we have to it that Henri confessed to everyone that she's a psycho wielder, you know, and so forth. And that's when, like, um, everyone goes like, okay, so do you have any idea what to do? She goes like, yeah, if I could try to, like, find the mother and make all this go away, I could turn them back to to who they are. And therefore, we have to it that um, everyone says, okay, we're counting on you, you know? Even Kadota says that. And Henri's like, aren't you guys afraid of me? But Kadota says... Hey man, we see Selty that's way less human than you are. But for you to feel anger, sadness, and happiness in your emotions shows you shows you a lot. Shows a lot. So that's why we accept you. I mean, we saw Selty. She's a freaking crazed up monster in a way. I mean, come on guys, don't deny that. All right, let's be honest here. <laughs> Anyways, um. As the episode continues, we have to it that Henri actually te cries tears of joy, but Seiji's girlfriend, well, not exactly, if anything, tells Henri, save those tears for Mikado and Mikado and Kida, okay? And therefore, she, Henri decides to call, decides to call near Kawa Haruna, but apparently the teacher decides to pick up that phone for her. And Erica, on the other hand, blends it with the crowd with her red eyes colored lens, you know, or contacts, you know? Whatever you want to call it. And that was not... And Erica almost got caught, but she managed to escape in time. Oh my lord, Erica, do not freaking scare the living crackalack out of me, dang it. <laughs> so, as the episode continues with its, like, um, certain procedures here and there, we have to it that, um... Henri ends up talking to the teacher a bit. The person... Whatever his name is, which I've forgotten his name since I know he's he's the antagonist. He's the one with Haruna at the at the last week's episode, etc. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, she she talks to him for a bit, and he goes like, "I just invited your friends over, if anything, you know, which is not good." As for Chikage, Chikage, the one who decides to fight Amkita, and right now trying to fight the Blue Squares members after being hit with a baseball bat. Oh my gosh, that should be a freaking knockout blow, if anything. But that guy's no ordinary human anyway, in my certain sense. As for Shinra, he is trying to get to Selty and trying to gain back her senses, apparently, because he's in love with her and tells the girl up and tells that girl who wants to make Isaiah suffer about that. He says, I read, even though if I should die and make Selty regain her memories, that's all that matters to me, you know? So, shows a lot of commitment. As the episode continues towards its ending, we have to it that Mikado and Kida finally meet and have a little small talk, you know? Which is something to my concern and worry because it seems like after having a little talk, Mikado says, Oh, I want to tell Henri and you guys about me being a leader of dollars and tell you more, you know? But it's too dangerous. And I'm thinking in my mind, what the f*** are you talking about now, huh? 
And it seems like they both got a call. I'm pretty sure one is from Kira's girlfriend, Saki, and one is from Anri to Mikado. And yeah, it ends up at a certain cliffhanger for Mikado to say something, but here's one thing, okay? You all realize that Mikado was given a gun, right? It was shown many episodes back. Hey, Mikado, if you think of what I think you're doing, seriously, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna f cracking hate you and kill you for making me hate you. Ah, you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, like, Mikado has a gun, and by any chance, if he goes down that path, I will hate him for the rest of my life in this series. Y'all know what he could do with the gun. If I had to say it right now in detail, he could shoot Kida, which I highly doubt, but if it happens, hell, I'm gonna freaking rage and go out of control. That's all I'm gonna say, because that is no friend. That's just a psycho who never, that's a psychopath person who never gives two crackalacks of what's going on. Seriously, that's, I'm really concerned right now because Mikado was given a gun, okay? That's all I'm really gonna say. If you guys have been keeping up with this series, etc., you would know what the f I'm talking about. So, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.